today I'm going to show you ways you can make your titles pop. Let's jump on in. Let's start with the basics. First, you want to make sure your titles have contrast so that way your viewers can read it on screen. Here on top of this video, I want to add some cool kinetic text on top. From Envato Elements, I downloaded this nice big title modern pack. And what I've done is I've imported them already inside of my essential graphics panel here inside of the browse tab. So let's apply big title eight by dragging and dropping it on top of the footage. Now, when we play it back, you can kind of read it, right? But it's a very busy background. So how can we fix this so it's easier to read? There are two ways. The first way, if we select this text, we can go over here to the controls that come with the motion graphics template, but you'll notice that there's no drop shadow to add some contrast behind it. But we can go to our effects built into Premiere Pro and search for drop shadow and drag and drop this onto our clip. And then here we can make customizations to these parameters so it will pop more. So here's the before and the after. It's easier to read, but it's still kind of busy. This is where I like to apply a color mat. From the project panel, you can click on this little icon and select color mat, press okay. And you can choose any color of mat you like. In this case, I'm just going to choose black, then press okay. And then bring the title up to video layer three and let's bring the color mat on top of video layer one. Now you can see it's just black. Well, that's because we need to select the color mat, go to effect controls and drop this down to like 55%. So now without the color mat, you can see that it just darkens the image and just gave it more contrast so it's easier to read. You can also stagger these color mats here slightly and add a default cross dissolve by right clicking on the end of it. So as we play it back, the title animates and then it starts to get darker with that cross dissolve on the color mat layer. Another way to make your titles more dynamic is by placing them behind objects in your video. For example, here I have this guy running and what if we wanted to add text behind them? Now this will involve rotoscoping. Now we could use the pen tool in Premiere Pro to draw a custom mask around him, but that's going to take a long time. This is where After Effects comes in handy. So I'm going to press Option and if you're on a PC, Alt and drag it and release to duplicate this clip. Now the bottom layer here is going to be the background and this layer is what we're going to use to do the rotoscoping in After Effects. So right click on the clip and go to replace with After Effects composition. This is going to launch open Adobe After Effects. In this case, I'll just call it demo, save. So to use the rotor brush tool, we're going to double click on the clip inside of our composition and then use the rotor brush tool right here to click and draw on our subject to start the roto. Now you might get this warning that you have to update your frame rate. That's not a problem. We can go over here and click on this hamburger menu, composition settings, and make sure to select it as the native frame rate of the clip. In this case, 25, press okay. And then we can use the rotor brush tool. We can actually zoom in by pressing command plus, and we can, you know, select the parts that we want to roto. You can press H to go to a different spot and then press option W to go back to the roto brush tool. If you need to remove sections, for example, this area inside of his arm here, press option and this will create a red line that we want to remove this area from the roto. A few moments later. Once you have your selection done, just hit play and it'll start to automatically mask him out from the background. Once it's done, we're going to hit save. Now back in Premiere Pro, if we turn off the background layer, you can see that it is fully transparent behind him. You can also go to the wrench tool and turn on the transparency grid so you can see that it is indeed transparent. So let's keep this back on. And now between these two layers, if we bring up our roto on video layer three, we can then create text in between. So let's type out runner and let's bring it on video layer two and we can center align it, scale it down slightly, update the color and let's add a slight stroke around it. So now the text is behind him and it looks super cool, but we can also add an in animation. So if we bring up the roto on video layer four, if we go to my Premiere Gal toolkit, for example, I have these text animation elastic for Premiere Pro 
And you can choose one of these, for example, this one, and let's drag and drop it on top of the text layer itself. Now this animation will also apply to the video background, which we don't want. And this is why we need to select the text layer and animation, right click and nest it. So it's one layer. Now it will only affect the text behind, which looks a lot more dynamic. Now, if this video is helping you out so far, be sure to give it a thumbs up as well as subscribe. Now, the stock video and the motion graphics templates that I've been using in this video are from Envato Elements, which is today's sponsor. And me and my editing team, we love to use Elements because they have unlimited sound effects, music, stock video, and templates that we can use to spice up our edits. And Envato Elements set up a discount code for you. You can use my link below just this video to get 70% off your first month. And the best part about it is that you can use the assets in any type of project, personal, commercial, whatever. And you can download as much as you want to try out before you commit to a particular asset because it's not pay per asset. Thank you so much to Envato Elements for sponsoring today's video. And now let's go into the third way that you can make your title pop. Another way that you can make your videos pop is by adding the video inside of the text, which is often used inside of music lyric videos. Here I have a stock video clip of some water. Now what I can do is use this type tool to type out water and we can remove the fill. So it's just a white outline. We can make it a little bit bigger and center align it. And this looks really cool. But what if we want to put the video inside of the text so it's like a mask? What we have to do in this case is actually delete the video clip from the timeline. And let's actually turn off the transparency grid in this case. Let's select the text layer. And up here, we can actually go to this icon and choose to import a video file inside of the essential graphics panel. So select from file. And here I'm going to select the water clip that I downloaded from Envato Elements and import it. Now let's make sure the text is on video layer one. And at the bottom here, we can select mask with text. And look at that. Now the clip is inside of the stroke. But if we turn off the stroke and turn on the fill, now the video is inside of the text, which looks super cool. And now what we can do is we can place another video behind this text and further spice it up. So here from Elements, I found this really cool golden drops flow in the water. So I downloaded this and now inside of Premiere Pro, I can take this golden drops and drag it beneath. And now we have this nice golden drip with the water inside. And it's a little hard to read because the contrast is low. Now, what if we want to add the stroke back? If we go to try to add a stroke, it's only going to add more video. It's not going to add a white stroke. So this is where we actually need to duplicate this layer. So now on this graphics layer on video layer two, we can go up here and we can remove this video clip and we can remove the mask at the bottom and let's add the stroke. And now we have the white stroke and we can make it a little bit less so it's not as thick. And we can also increase the tracking slightly. I think that'll look good. And see when we increase that tracking, now we can see the green fill beneath and we also have to add the tracking to video layer three. So if we select water here, let's go ahead and let's increase this to 135. So I think this is looking pretty cool, but there are a few more things that you can do, which is the next thing, using the built-in animations and transitions in Premiere Pro. Some of them are kind of meh, like they're not that great. For example, underneath video transitions, if we go to wipe, for example, barn doors and add this to the beginning of both text layers, it's just a basic barn doors animation. And it's okay, but we can make it better. We can actually use the built-in VR transitions, which are normally for 360 degree footage, but you can use it on standard footage too. So if we go up here and we search for VR, you can see underneath video transitions that we have all of these really cool different transitions that we can try out. So we want the outline to start first and let's actually remove this green fill. We don't want that green fill in here. So what I can do is add the VR random blocks and I can extend it out to make it longer. So now it just kind of like does this like cool digital random blocks transition. And then we can add just a standard transition cross dissolve to have this fill in. Pretty cool. Another way you can spice up your edit is to add sound. So from Envato Elements, I downloaded this digital sound. 
to add to the random block. And I downloaded some water to add when the water comes in. And I also downloaded this music. Because I like to add music behind my title cards, I'll fade it in and then I'll fade it out as we go into another topic. So let me show you how I layered this in. I downloaded the sounds and now they are here inside of my panel. So first I'll add the first digital effect, but I'll add a second one underneath. And then as the water comes in, I add the water sound effect. And then to top it off, we can add the heartwarming sci-fi music track. And then to tie it all together, we can actually have it fade out. And what we can do is we can lasso and select all these video assets here, right click and nest it so it's one layer. And we can make this video clip layer a bit taller and we can fade it out the opacity altogether. So you'll see that there's this line here. And actually, if you go to the wrench tool, you want to make sure that you have show video keyframes on. So let's see where we want to fade it out. So maybe right around here. So we can press P to get the pen tool and select our points to drop it down. And you can press command or control here to create a curved adjustment. And then we can of course press C and cut the audio tracks here. And I like to go to effects and apply an exponential fade. Command C, Command V to paste it. Let's see how it looks. Sweet. So if this video helped you out, be sure to check out this video right over here because it will also be very useful to you. And as always, keep creating better video with Gal. See you next time. Bye. I recently went a workshop.